Let's tune the telescope into galaxies being born and oh my gosh who ordered this. We're finding galaxies in the dark ages. For as long as scientific inquiry has delved into the origins of our universe, the prevailing explanation has been the Big Bang Theory. Countless studies and the collaborative efforts of thousands of scientists have reinforced this theory, providing substantial evidence for how the universe came into being. However, the landscape of science today is markedly different from that of the past. Technological advancements continually usher in new theories and perspectives, challenging what we once considered indisputable truths. In this evolving scientific landscape where new discoveries reshape our understanding of the cosmos, Neil deGrasse Tyson has become a prominent voice. Now, a groundbreaking development has come to light as the James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled a revelation that calls into question the long-standing Big Bang Theory. This discovery involves the detection of a staggering 750 new galaxies, each of which defies our previous expectations of what galaxies should be like. By the way, the James Webb Space Telescope was conceived and designed to help us understand the origin of galaxies, so we shouldn't be surprised that it's forcing us to scratch our heads. Join us as we explore how the new images from the JWST debunk the Big Bang Theory. With the discovery of 750 new galaxies, scientists have put forward the Big Bang Theory as the leading explanation for the origin of our vast universe. According to this theory, around 14 billion years ago, the universe came into existence through some sort of mysterious cosmic event. It's the ultimate birth story of the cosmos. The surprising nature of the images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope has challenged scientists' understanding of the universe's origins. The hypothesis that these images directly contradict is the Big Bang hypothesis, which has long been regarded as an unquestionable truth by the majority of cosmological theorists. These galaxies appear to be too small, too smooth, too old, and too numerous when compared to the expectations of the Big Bang hypothesis. The small size of the observed galaxies entirely contradicts the expected behavior in an expanding universe. According to the hypothesis, as the universe expands, objects should appear larger with increasing distance. At the very beginning of the universe, all matter, energy, and the building blocks of the cosmos were compressed into an extremely tiny and highly concentrated point called a singularity. Within this singularity, the matter and energy were squeezed together to such an extent that their density reached an infinitely high value. The concept of a singularity comes from our current understanding of the laws of physics, particularly the equations of general relativity proposed by Albert Einstein. Expansion started with an extraordinary burst of rapid expansion known as cosmic inflation. During this phase, the universe expanded at an unimaginable rate, far exceeding the speed of light. Cosmic inflation played a massive role in shaping the large-scale structure of the universe. It smoothed out irregularities, homogenized the distribution of matter and energy, and set the stage for the subsequent formation of galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures. As the universe continued to expand, the rate of expansion gradually slowed down. However, even though the initial period of cosmic inflation ended, the universe continued to expand at a measurable rate. This ongoing expansion is known as the expansion of the universe or cosmic expansion. Scientists have observed the effects of this expansion through various observations, such as the redshift of light from distant galaxies. The redshift indicates that as the universe expands, light waves get stretched and shift towards longer wavelengths, shifting them towards the red end of the spectrum. At first glance, the images of the new galaxies taken by the JWST look absolutely breathtaking. You can see hundreds of galaxies all in the same frame, and the sheer power in the photos is something you just can't ignore. But for researchers, things are the total opposite. These pictures are surprising to say the least. They don't match what scientists thought they would see based on their theories. In fact, they're seeing way more galaxies than expected, and these galaxies are different in some surprising ways. They're smooth, smaller than imagined, and really old. All these surprises are causing a bit of a panic among the scientists. One paper even starts with the word panic in its title so you know things are serious. The age of the observed galaxies seems to be incredibly strange. Here, the JWST observations indicate the presence of galaxies that appear to be unexpectedly old. This challenges the expected timeline of galaxy formation and evolution within the framework of the Big Bang Theory. 
Plus, there's also the fact that the abundance of observed galaxies is a lot higher than what was supposed to be. The Big Bang hypothesis predicts a certain distribution and density of galaxies based on the expansion and evolution of the universe, but the JWST images show a massive number of galaxies, which raises questions about the accuracy of the predictions made by the hypothesis. There's also the fact that the smoothness of these galaxies is totally unexpected. The Big Bang theory suggests that galaxies should exhibit irregularity and variations in their structures due to the dynamics of their formation and evolution. However, the JWST images reveal galaxies that appear unusually smooth, lacking the expected level of complexity and roughness. While the expansion was happening, we basically had all the stuff that makes up our universe squeezed into an incredibly small volume. It was clear that matter could not survive in space like this, so something had to give. As the universe expanded and cooled down, transformations took place. Particles such as protons, neutrons, and electrons began to interact with light and energy in their surroundings. These interactions played a pivotal role in shaping the formation of matter in the universe. During the first few minutes after the Big Bang, there was a process called nucleosynthesis. This process involved the creation of lightweight elements like hydrogen and helium. The extreme temperatures and density during this phase allowed for the fusion of protons and neutrons to form these simple atomic building blocks. The synthesis of these elemental building blocks was a significant milestone in the evolution of the universe. From a primordial sea of particles and energy, the early universe transitioned into a state where matter actually began to take shape. This process laid the foundation for the rich diversity of matter and the vast cosmic structures that eventually came into being. Now, the Big Bang theorists themselves anticipated observing galaxies that were mangled and scrambled due to multiple collisions. However, the JWST images present a different story. Instead of chaotic and disheveled galaxies, the images reveal overwhelmingly smooth disks and well-organized spiral forms resembling the galaxies we see in the present-day universe. This unexpected observation challenges the notion that mergers are a common process in the evolution of galaxies because it's clear that these new galaxies haven't gone through any of the hardships that you'd normally expect if you were following the Big Bang Theory. As astronomers have meticulously observed and mapped the cosmos, they have discovered a striking pattern, the clustering of galaxies and the overall structure of the universe. Galaxies tend to congregate together in vast groups, clusters, and superclusters, forming intricate networks that extend across the cosmos. This observed large-scale structure aligns with the predictions made by the Big Bang Theory. According to the theory, the universe began as an incredibly dense and hot state, and over time it expanded and cooled. As the universe expanded, gravity played a pivotal role in shaping the distribution of matter and the formation of galaxies. The formation of galaxies and their distribution across the universe aligns with the gravitational effects expected from the initial dense and expanding state posited by the theory. The clustering of galaxies, the cosmic web-like structure, and the distribution of galaxy clusters all come together to support the idea that the universe has evolved from a primordial state of extreme density and has undergone expansion over billions of years. So, when you take another look at the size of the galaxies the James Webb Space Telescope found, you can really see how the images portray a completely opposite reality to what we've always thought was our reality. According to Big Bang theorists, these tiny galaxies grow and evolve into the larger galaxies we observe today through a process of collisions and mergers. To make it easier to think about this hypothetical scenario, you can think about the individual galaxies as a magical toy car, one that starts as a centimeter-long vehicle but grows into a full-size SUV by colliding with numerous other toy cars. But the observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope have cast doubt on this proposed merger process. If we were to believe the toy car analogy, one would expect to see at least some evidence of collisions or dents in the interacting galaxies. So, is the Big Bang Theory just some wordplay? Actually, it is supported by some compelling evidence. First of all, you've got things like the observations of the redshift of light from distant galaxies that provide evidence of the expanding universe. Secondly, the observation that galaxies are moving away from one another in all directions suggests that the universe is continuously expanding, as predicted by the theory. The presence of the CMB provides a remarkable glimpse into the early stages of the universe, serving as a direct echo of the initial moments following the Big Bang. 
its discovery and subsequent analysis have played a crucial role in cementing the Big Bang theory as the prevailing explanation for the origins of the cosmos. The existence of galaxies with ages predating the Big Bang contradicts the fundamental premise of the theory, suggesting that the Big Bang didn't actually happen and that everything didn't come from it. Proponents of the Big Bang theory anticipated that as the JWST peered further into space and back in time, the number of observable galaxies would decrease, eventually leading to a dark age in the cosmos. The age and abundance of galaxies revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope also challenged the validity of the Big Bang theory. The JWST is equipped with filters that allow it to capture images in the infrared part of the spectrum. By analyzing the colors, astronomers can estimate the ages of the stars within these galaxies. According to the Big Bang theory, the most distant galaxies captured by the JWST should be extremely young and contain very few elements heavier than helium. However, the observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope contradict this expectation. The presence of mature galaxies with a high abundance of heavy elements suggests that these galaxies formed earlier than predicted by the Big Bang theory. The discovery of these older galaxies challenges the fundamental assumptions underlying the Big Bang theory and prompts scientists to reconsider our current understanding of the early universe. The detection of galaxies that are unexpectedly mature raises questions about the mechanisms responsible for their formation and evolution in the early universe. By studying the formation and evolution of galaxies throughout the history of the cosmos, scientists hope to gain insight into the processes that shaped the universe we observe today. The findings from the James Webb Space Telescope Challenge our current understanding of the cosmos and encourage further exploration into the mysteries of the universe's origins. These discoveries may prompt scientists to reconsider existing theories and explore new avenues of inquiry to better understand the complex processes that have shaped the universe since its inception. As technology continues to advance and our observational capabilities improve, the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to play a pivotal role in expanding our knowledge of the universe and unraveling its deepest mysteries. The discovery of these unexpected galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has sparked intense scientific debate and scrutiny. These findings challenge the core tenets of the Big Bang Theory, which posits that the universe began with a rapid expansion from a singularity, followed by the gradual formation of galaxies over billions of years. According to this theory, galaxies should evolve through mergers and collisions, growing larger and more complex over time. However, the galaxies observed by JWST appear remarkably mature and smooth, lacking the chaotic structures expected from ongoing mergers. One of the key observations from JWST is the prevalence of smooth and well-organized galaxy disks and spirals in the early universe. These features suggest that these galaxies formed in a less turbulent environment than previously hypothesized. The absence of significant merging signatures challenges the assumption that galaxy formation primarily occurs through collisions and mergers, raising questions about alternative mechanisms that could explain their early formation and evolution. Moreover, the ages of these galaxies pose another significant challenge to the Big Bang theory. Instead of observing young, Newly formed galaxies as predicted, JWST has detected galaxies that are unexpectedly old. These findings imply that galaxy formation may have begun much earlier in cosmic history than previously thought, challenging existing models of galaxy evolution. The discovery of such mature galaxies also raises questions about the early universe's chemical enrichment. The presence of heavy elements in these galaxies indicates that substantial star formation and nucleosynthesis occurred earlier than predicted by current cosmological models. This discrepancy challenges our understanding of how and when the universe transitioned from a state dominated by primordial hydrogen and helium to one enriched with heavier elements necessary for planet and star formation. Furthermore, the sheer number of galaxies detected by JWST challenges our understanding of cosmic structure formation. The abundance of galaxies observed suggests that early galaxy formation may have been more prolific and efficient than anticipated. This finding prompts a re-evaluation of the initial conditions and dynamics of the early universe, potentially requiring revisions to existing theories of cosmic evolution. In addition to challenging the Big Bang theory, these discoveries highlight the complexity and diversity of processes shaping cosmic evolution. They underscore the need for continued exploration and observation to unravel the mysteries of galaxy formation and evolution throughout cosmic history. 
The implications of these discoveries extend beyond cosmology, influencing our understanding of fundamental physics and the nature of dark matter and dark energy. They underscore the importance of integrating observational data with theoretical models to construct a more comprehensive and accurate picture of the universe's origins and evolution. Looking forward, future observations with JWST and upcoming observatories will play a crucial role in further elucidating the nature of these early galaxies and their implications for our understanding of cosmic evolution. Advances in observational techniques and instrumentation will enable scientists to probe deeper into cosmic history potentially uncovering more surprises and challenging our current paradigms of the universe's origin and development. In conclusion, the discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope represent a significant milestone in our quest to understand the universe's origins. By challenging established theories and revealing unexpected cosmic phenomena, JWST has opened new avenues for exploration and discovery in cosmology. These findings underscore the dynamic and evolving nature of scientific inquiry, where each new observation brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos and our place within it.